Right then, my friends. So we're going to put something into the Timka electric lunchbox that I've bought myself to uh, warm up for my lunch. So I'm not going to do it in the camper van today. I'm going to do it in the house just because uh, I really don't want to go out and get cold, to be honest. And I don't want to pull in my um, my portable generator because it's not going to do anything different to what the wall plug is. So I have got the cable for the 220 volt plugged in. Uh, in the side of things. So switch that socket on, brilliant. So open up the lid. I've got a Morrison's chicken pie. I'm not sure if it's chicken or mushroom, chicken vegetable or chicken gravy, I can't remember. So that's almost at room temperature. Got a bunch of uh, garden peas as well. I'm gonna pop the lid on those. I'm gonna pop that in as well. So I'll put it the right way around. So look at that. So I've got space for pie and a load of veg. Okay. I could potentially, if I had some, stick a load of sort of like uh, frozen chips or homemade chips or whatever on there. Oven chips, something like that, just to fill it up. So I could have pie, chips and peas potentially, or pie, chips and beans, for example. So next stage, you take the lid. Okay. We're going to pop that on in place, click it down on all four sides. Oh, not making a good job of this, am I? Hold on, let me just put the phone down. There, that's all clipped down. Now, before we do anything else, we take off the vent cover, okay? This little rubber bung, because otherwise, moisture will stay inside and it'll go around and maybe affect the circuits or warp the plastic. Now, there's your little indicator light down the bottom there. You've got to uh, make sure that's lit. So to do that, don't forget, you've got to press the button and switch it on. So there we go, got a little orange light on. Now I'm gonna leave that, it's now 20 past 11. So I'm gonna leave that and then check that in a while and see whether everything has warmed up. Hopefully I'm gonna come back, have a nice steaming hot pie and some nice steaming hot peas. So I'm just gonna put my vent cap on the top there just so I remember it's there. So, had I been going to work, I could of course used my fork and spoon there that comes with it and just neatly stowed away. But because uh, I'm at home, I'll use proper ones. So that's it. That's my Timka electric lunchbox with a pie in at 11.18. So one hour and one minute, perfect timing. Alice has turned up with her digital thermometer. I can feel, yes, I can feel it's warm. Now, I can actually, I don't know how to use this. Right, I can actually put the prong into the pie through my vent cap. Look at that. It says 49, 62, 67. It needs to be a minimum of 63. Yeah, and it, go, it goes up to, whose video is this, young lady? Just because it's your idea. You just need to make sure you're not touching the metal of the pot. Oh. It'll be in a metal tray because it's a there's a pie in a tray. So 63, 64, 61, 60. Uh, should I measure the peas? Why is it going right down? I don't know. Are you in the pie? I'll tell you what, can I get the whole lap? Let's check. Are you actually in the pie? Occurring. Right. Don't touch the metal at the bottom. No, I'll just put that. That looks fine. 67. Where is touching that at the bottom, maybe? No, I don't no, know. No, it's fine. No, it's fine. Yeah. Do we believe it? Let's check the peas. What do you mean, do you believe it? I don't believe it. Some peas feel quite warm. Warm. I think it could be a bit warmer. Well, it only gets to a maximum of 70, so. Yeah. 